Hello everybody and welcome to another pixelforlife.com video tutorial. Today we're going to look at how to change some colors on images. I've selected a fairly simple image to kind of show you the different techniques, but then you can take these techniques and go into more advanced um, photographs such as humans or cars or whatever you want and use the same techniques. So before I do anything, I'm going to go ahead and make a duplicate here. and I'm just going to hide that bottom one so I always have an original. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Adjustments and we're going to go to Selective Color. And if I select, let's just say, uh, you know, the reds in this image, then I can go ahead and change just the reds. And you can see there by doing that, the blue is actually left alone. But we have a little bit of a problem here because the wood has some reds in it as well. Now, because of that, we actually need to go ahead and do some other things before that, and you'll find that you find that, that you will find that this happens a lot. And one of the best ways that you can do this is to simply go ahead and go into, um, you know, and so actually select out a selection, which would be like your marquee tool, and then put this up at like 55 or whatever, and then you just kind of select the area that you're wanting to change the color of. You can see there I get a little overlap there on the the uh, cupcake there. So I'll just hold the Alt key and kind of click that off like that. And then you can go in and do the exact same thing. And again, this is not a good cutout. This is just really quick just so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. Um, and then you would put selective color and you can adjust the color, you know, this way. Um, along with selective color, you can also do hue and saturation. And you could just adjust the hue to whichever color that you wanted, you know, making it match uh, the other color that, that you're wanting. So that's that's one easy way to do it. Um, the next way that you can do it is to actually go in and uh, hand select out, you know, like with the pen tool or with the marquee tool and for your selection, and then adjust the color the same way. But what happens when you want to actually do it like on a whole image? Well, the best way that I've found is to, for instance, select the image under the replace color and you can see here you can adjust this and this shows the wood a little bit so you just bring that down so it's just not showing and then you adjust the saturation down just a hair and then you adjust your hue and as you can see there that looks pretty good and then once you've adjusted your color you can go ahead and adjust the selection to your liking so you can get it just right and you can see right about there is pretty good yeah, I'm going to drop that saturation. It's not the right color that I'm going for, but you can see here like a orange hair there. That looks really, really good. And you can also lighten and darken it. And then you can hit OK and you can do it again for another color. And like I said, you can do it again for another color and just go to replace color. Select the blue this time. And probably going to need to select that background as well. But then you can adjust the hue on it and make it the color that you'd like for it as well. And that's basically it, guys. This is just some simple ways to do it. There's actually many more in Photoshop, but I figured I'd just cover a couple just to get a tutorial up on the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and we will see you all in the next lesson.